We can begin with just the classic three ball cascade. It's the most obvious way to juggle three balls. It's symmetrical. The ball is re-thrown every three beats of the pattern. When we go to four balls, you can see the yellow one going up and down and it stays on the same side. It doesn't cross. So already we know that odd numbers cross and even numbers go straight. They return to the same hand. So when we go to five ball juggling, you've probably worked out what's going to happen. The five balls cross from one hand to the other and are rethrown every five beats. And we can use this notation to transcribe new juggling patterns. Taking the classic three ball cascade, we can add in different throws, so under the leg, behind the back, cross-armed, so long as they return to the next hand, three beats later on, they've uh, stuck to the rule. And things get interesting when you combine new numbers together. So we have the pattern 5-3-1, where one ball is being rethrown every five beats, and one ball is being rethrown every three beats, and one ball is being thrown every one beat. And we combine all these different techniques to create new juggling patterns.